This is going to be a really simple video on how to easily find thousands of emails in minutes using clay.com without having to do any manual work and all from one place without having to import, export, all that kind of stuff. Quick one on us, Leadify, I'm one of the co-founders, generated over 4,000 leads for our clients in the past year, sent over a million emails in the past year, certified clay experts, and we help install B2B outbound systems to generate leads on autopilot. What you'll get in this video, how to use waterfalls in clay and how to set them up literally step by step. And it's really easy to do. So let's go into clay. Now, once you're in a clay table, right, you've added your people, your filters, your all this kind of stuff. We are going to very simply click on add enrichment. Actually, before I get into that, let me just show you very quickly. So we're in a people table, right? So we've got people contacts rather than companies. Obviously, we need people to find the email addresses, right? And as long as we've got the company domain and the person's full name, right? Uh, what's the full name? Full name. We can then use that to find email addresses. Now, the way we will do that is click over to here and go add enrichment and we would type in work, work email, and then depending on whether or not you're targeting enterprise businesses, so larger businesses or small medium businesses will be sort of determined which work email you use. But in this case, I'm going to just put in work email SMB, All right? Now you're going to come up with this whole waterfall sequence. Now what this waterfall does is basically we'll try this first data provider here, lead magic. And if it doesn't find the email address with lead magic, it will try find email. And if it doesn't find it with find email, it will try post bo. And if it doesn't find it here, so on and so forth. And at every step, it's also going to try and valid, not try, it's going to validate the email and tell you whether or not it's a valid email. You want to make sure that you're only sending to safe to send emails and make sure that that is marked as valid, right? Now, for this purpose, uh, for demonstration, I'm going to remove a bunch of these. But if you wanted to and have the best find rate, you could obviously keep all of these in here. And this is going to A, use clay credits, unless you use your own API keys, which I'll show you how to do in just a second. Um, because you can see here, this one is one per row. This is two, this is two, this is two. And if you're running a whole lead list, it's going to cost you a lot in terms of your clay subscription. It's much cheaper usually to just get the individual subscription to those accounts, right? I'm going to show you the ones that we use normally from uh, Leadify internally for our clients. So I'm just going to remove these. Right, remove all of these except for Prospio. That's one of them that we use, and Lead Magic. That's another one that we use. But you can also get any of any others. It doesn't really matter about the like steps per se. The only thing you need is the full name and the company domain. So if you wanted to register and add your API key, it's very simple. You'd come over to Prospio. Um, you know, I don't know. You come onto pricing. You'd purchase one of the pricing plans. You'd log in, and then once you've logged in, it will just um, it's bugging out a little bit but once you've logged in it should just allow you to then come over to uh, you just click on account and then you click on api and you just copy paste your api key very very simple it's pretty much the same with lead magic um, and the way you would do that is you would just come over to here and you would click on settings you click on connections click on add connection and you type in whichever one that you want to do, Prospio, for example, and you would just literally copy paste your API key, name it, and then set it as the default. It's very, very simple to do. And that means now you will be billed based on the subscription that you have externally and not be using clay credits, because obviously if you're using clay credits, it's going to cost you a whole bunch if you're constantly trying to find and, you know, all this kind of stuff for, for um, find and verify emails like every single time. It's going to cost you two, three clay credits at least. You're only getting charged. The only thing is if it finds a valid email or finds a email, otherwise you're not getting charged, right? So that's really important to know. So that's how you do it. So I go add enrichment and I go uh, work email. Cool. I'm going to put SMB. Oh, I'm going to have to redo this. Just uh, remove and delete all of these and bosh, bosh, bosh. Cool. And then I'm going to change this to validate email. And again, lead magic is the same process. If I was to click in here, you can see that I've got my API key connected. Uh, and then lead magic is the same. I've got my API key connected and then you do that by just the process I showed you. Every one of these is going to be much cheaper. So for example, if you've got lead magic, you've got 10 K credits or Prospio, we've got 20 K credits, for example, that's $199. If you wanted to get 20,000 email credits within clay, that would be, uh, the 699 plan. So you can see how it's much cheaper if you actually end up getting a base level subscription with clay and then use some tools like Prospio and lead magic for finding email addresses it's cheaper overall than using clay credits otherwise you'll run out and burn your clay credits like very quickly and then we would quite literally just click on save and run nine rows right for example and 
now we just let it quite literally run. And I've shown this in other videos, but again, it's very simple. So we are trying to find the email address and you can see no email found, no email found. Because we found the email here, this says run condition not met. And then what's happening here is it's validating the email. So if I actually open up the columns, you can see validate lead magic email is not showed because it hides it just to keep it a bit more tight, uh, tidier. Um, and same with validate Prospio, it hides that because it just keeps it a bit tidier. So it's pretty awesome. We've been able to basically find uh, nine, uh, eight out of nine email addresses here. And then you would run this across your entire table. You know, you know, if you had tens of thousands of leads, we've got 24,000 in this particular table, you could run the entire thing. And, you know, you'd be able to quite literally find thousands of emails within a couple of minutes without really doing much. You just press a couple of buttons. There's no need to import, export, any of that kind of stuff. It's all done right here within Clay. So hope you found this interesting and uh, hope this helped for anyone that's a little bit more of a beginner and kind of getting started into Clay. Um, if you're interested in using our services and us installing these kinds of outbound automated systems into your business, feel free to schedule a call below and I'll see you in the next one.